Hi guys, this is Vo. Um, so, uh, Firefox uh, updated their browser to um, 80.0 or something on Android. So, uh, and I guess on iPhone as well, but I don't have an iPhone. And even if you had an iPhone, you can't uh, undo the update. So, but with Android, since you have a little more freedom, we can uninstall the latest Firefox browser on Android and make it uh, an older version, a version that you may or have liked better. And um, so yeah, I'm going to show you how to do that. But before we do, I'm just going to kind of explain to you why users are mad. Users like myself are mad at the update. And uh, so these are some uh, comments on the on their Android app. And I'm going to sort it by uh, probably most recent. Uh, uh, because uh, most of the angry comments are from recent updates. So I'm going to go uh, reviews sorted by newest. And we're going to read some of the comments uh, uh, and why some people are upset. You just change everything for no reason. All you do is make it quicker. Uh, Wolf Braun wrote, cannot uninstall extension anymore. Uh, more, I'm not going to say all the names, but... Uh, um, more updates say this update sucks big time say PDF option is best please undo this update has been so dis disappointing the ease of browsing is completely gone for one it takes me so much clicks to get open up one tab this is just a bad UX UI they mean the lack of tab previous is also bad it used to be easy to scroll through and find a tab again without remembering the title page. Ah, uh, I mean, there, it goes on, but I'm not going to extend that. Fix the crashing issue, please. Tabs are now annoying to use. Oh, there is a four star. It's open source. That's, that's a positive thing. An update removed features that existed in the previous version, such as moving open tab around. Also... Uh, tab layout is, in general is worse and uh, less compact than the previous version. Um, anyway, I can go on. It's a such you can read for yourself. It's um, um, okay. So uh, yeah, so they uh, so Firefox also removed the ability to block ads now, which is uh, pretty awful. And uh, uh, I don't know if it's intentional, but I mean, obviously uh, now. Y the new Firefox has much more ads because they removed that functionality of uh, plugins for ad block or whatever. Um, yeah, so, yeah, I mean, every one of these comments are pretty angry. It's a hot mess. I mean, most people are really upset by the, the uh, bookmarks and the tabs and stuff, uh, which I, I am kind of upset, but the main thing that nobody mentioned is there used to be a feature called a data saver, which means that if you're on a mobile network, uh, on your cellular uh, plan, if you're like myself, uh, where I conserve uh, my data, uh, I don't want it to load up images automatically. And Firefox used to be, we used to have this great feature that would automatically block images uh, so that you can save your data. Now, if you're on Wi-Fi, it will automatically load up images and stuff like that. So, I mean, it's, it's only for a very unique, small minority that uses this data saver, which I happen to be uh, part of. And um, anyway, so that feature is taken away. So I had to uh, I had to revert back to a previous model. And anyway, I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, so let's, uh, first thing you're going to do is, um, so what you're going to do is uh, uninstall uh, Firefox. And under your settings, under applications, you're going to look for Firefox. And then you're going to see this uninstall uh, button. And you're going to click on that and uninstall the software. Uh, the next thing you're going to do is uh, under your uh, settings for your Play Store on Google Play, what you're going to do is uh, un do not auto-update your app. And what that means is because if you're going to install an old 
Firefox app, it's going to automatically install the latest version. You don't want that. We want the old version, right? So uh, uncheck this part here. So this is uh, auto un updates. Uncheck that because you're not going to automatically update your apps anymore. Uh, the last thing you're going to do is um, you're going to use your, your phone and do a search for old Firefox AKP, which is the um, extension that uh, the Android uses. Or you can just search old version of Firefox for the Android. And you will come to a website that archive all the Firefoxes from previous version. And the version I'm using is 79, which you know, you might want to revert back even earlier to like to a point in time where where you might want. Uh, but don't go to version 80 because 80 is where they change everything. So 79 is probably the best options that you and I have if you're in the same boat as I am. So yeah, 79.0.4. That's the version I'm using. Anyway, so there you have it. I hope that helps. Uh, and you can do this for any app actually that exists on Android. If there's a, a new version that came out that you really dislike, you can always go back to a previous version.